saying this for a while and I've been listening to you for a long time. The eye is more powerful than the iPhone. Yeah? You also said a lot of times that you've not read the user's manual. So where is the human being's user manual? Because the iPhone comes with the user manual in the book, in the box. And how do you find our, my user manual? So, uh, please don't uh, go and browse through the bookstores. It's not there. <laughs> See, when you say me or I, you may have many ideas about what is me. But essentially, whatever ideas and ideologies you might have developed around you, essentially you're a piece of life, yes? Yes or no? You may be identified with many things, starting from your body. Because you identified your body, your agenda, because you're identified with your education, you become something else. You identify with your religion, you become something else. Like this you go on multiplying your identities many different ways. That may be a social requirement. To function in the society, you take on something, that's fine. But fundamentally your life, if you want to know life, if you think the user's manual is some scripture that you have, somebody has written, it can't be. Because what you're seeking to know is the nature of this one. Because your life, you don't have to read another one, you have to pay attention to this one. Now you pay attention to everything else, but not enough to this one. When I say paying attention to this one, this is not about standing in front of the mirror and paying attention to this. Really paying attention to something fundamentally this, because even your body you acquired from outside, isn't it? Hmm? It's the food that you've eaten. What you call as my mind, the content of your body and the content of your mind. This is the food that you've eaten, this is the impressions that you've taken in. But more fundamental than that, you still exist. Life is something that you allow it to blossom and flourish. You don't have to use this life, there's nothing like that. You just have to allow it to blossom to its fullest possibility. If it blossoms, <coughs> then it will do the best possible things. See, every life on this planet, whether it is a worm or an insect or a bird or a tree, every one of them is trying to become a full-fledged life, isn't it? But we know what is a full-fledged earthworm, we know what is a full-fledged grasshopper, we know what is a full-fledged tree, but we do not know what is a full-fledged human being. Because whatever you become in your life, you will notice that you would want to be something more. If that something more happens, you want to be something more. If that something happens, you want to be something more. Yes or no? Wherever you are right now in your life, you still want to be something more. If you really look at this, you will see what you want is a limitless expansion. You're not looking for this much or that much. You are looking for an infinite expansion. If you are looking for an infinite expansion, how do you get there? You are looking for infinite expansion through physical means. This is never going to be fulfilled because physical means it has a defined boundary. The fundamentals of physicality is it must have a defined boundary. If there is no boundary, you cannot call it physical anymore. Right now, there is something within you longing for an infinite expansion, but you're trying to give it physical means. How you're longing to find expansion is finding expression is. If it finds a very basic physical expression, we call this sexuality. Something that is not you, you want to make that a part of yourself, that's the effort. If it finds an emotional expression, we will call that love because something that is not you, you're trying to wrap it with your emotions and make it a part of yourself. If it finds a mental expression, it gets labeled as greed, ambition, conquest or uh, simply shopping. Of course, you're not against that. <laughs> All these are the same effort, 
that a human being is trying to be something more than what they are right now. But all of you have lived long enough to know, more is not going to settle you, you want all of it. <coughs> Even if I make you the king or queen of this planet, still you will look at the remaining galaxies, yes or no? Because that's the nature of the human being. This will not settle for this much and that much. If you want, you can go in installments. But approaching the infinite through installments, I think is a stupid way to go. Because you can't count one, two, three, four, five and say one day infinite, you can only become endless counting. So the manual is right here, don't believe me, don't believe anything that anybody says, but pay attention to the life that you are. Not your thought, not your emotion, not your physical structure, but the fundamental life that you are, if you pay enough attention to that, Everything you want to know about life is right here. You don't have to listen to anybody's discourses, you don't have to read anybody's scriptures, you don't have to listen to anybody's teachings, because what you know about… what you need to know about life is yours fundamentally, because you are life. <laughs>